Hello everyone, the Squire here, and uh, we're going to do a quick patch 5.7 notes rundown. Just try and see what's going on with this patch, man. Let y'all know my opinions on it, other opinions. We're just going to we're gonna run it through. Let's do it. Um, so, champion diversity. That's a big thing going on right now. I love it. I absolutely love the patches that we've been on recently. Like... I think 84% of things have been played in competitive, we have all these different champ picks, and I love that they're seeing <laughs> all the, or that they're trying to balance everything out, it's awesome. So Earth is still up, still fun as fuck, and um, the, everything's the same. So the Earth patch notes, everything's the same for that game mode, they haven't nerfed or buffed anyone or anything, it's still all the same. Bard, these are awesome buffs, um, chimes get more mana, he has increased AD, which will help his harass in lane when he's just like autoing other people, like supports do. <laughs> um, and the armor will help him survive in lane so he doesn't get instantly blown up. Um, this is super useful, having 12% um, of his uh, max mana restored instead of missing mana is awesome. It'll help him when he's roaming around, it'll just give him more mana, so it'll sustain better. Um, and Meeps respawn even faster. So, and then the chimes increase that as you collect more and more chimes. Um, and then his Q does a little bit more damage. So, overall, these buffs are great. I thought, I think Bard is decent. I know a lot of people hate him. I think he takes a lot of work to be played right. And a lot of, like, synergy with your AD um, to an extent. But he's, I think he's really strong in lane. And he brings great utility to the team. So I think these will help him. He'll be played a lot more after this, I think. He's already starting to get picked up. I know Lust Boy's been spamming him and stuff like that. Um, w, this one's interesting. I, I like it, but I don't. <laughs> I love Blitzcrank. Um, basically, he gets way more speed, and it, but it rapidly decays when he uses his W. But then afterwards, he's also slowed for a second and a half. Like, he slows himself, which is kind of weird. But, I mean, it's it's good, because it kind of gives counterplay, so he's not just spamming W and moving faster for no reason. So that's good. Um, this is definitely going to help Darius out. Darius buffs are pretty scary. So, um, it refunds mana when you kill people, so you can, keep, you can keep the chain, the reset going on while it's going on. And then at rank 3, uh, the cooldown completely resets, which is pretty massive I mean that means once late game it'll help him scale late game better because right now he's he's pretty good at bullying a lane decently but he's like pretty good at win lane lose game like Yorick sort of kind of that's debatable but um basically he was really good in lane and then he kind of got out scaled and kited by everyone but now it'll at least help his late game more when in team fights his ult's gonna reset late game which is crazy um, a little buff to Evelyn, so we're trying, they're, they're slowly kind of bringing her back so she's not oppressive like she was forever ago when she was picked like every game, basically, um, but the new jungle that did hurt her, so we're gonna see what's going on here. They're just kind of slowly tuning her up, I think, instead of, like, giving her massive buffs. This fizz buff, or change, I guess, is... They're like, okay, we don't want AD uh, Fizz anymore. We want AP Fizz again. Um, because they want him to be more of, like they say here, more of an assassin rather than a, being a tanky assassin, basically. So that, that's good. He'll just build more AP now. His W's, uh, or his percent health's a dot instead of the on hit. Basically, they just flip the damage, sort of. I mean, that's not exactly it, but... So his W does more damage when it's activated, but it bleeds for percent of missing health. So it, it'll just turn him into AP. His kit's pretty good. I don't think, I mean, you know, Keen pulls him out occasionally. His kit's so good that he's always going to be decent. I mean, the troll pull is too strong. <laughs> um, Garen lower cooldown ults, which is going to be fun. If you like being oppressed in lane and being dominated by someone, then you're you want to play against Karen, so it'll be fun. <laughs> um, tiny little bit of nerfs to Hecarim's sustain, just because he's strong right now, but like his damage will still be good. He's, he, he'll be fine. He just has to um, d 
decide better trades, basically. So he'll still be played. Um, ooh, I didn't re remember these Cassidy nerfs. Uh, or buff. Buff. Huge buff. So Cassidy's ult, when it restacks, or like when it increases in mana, now it doesn't take 20 seconds, it only takes 15, which is going to be really good because you would basically have a long ass cooldown on your ult with too much mana. So this this will help him out a bunch. I think he's slowly starting to build back up to being really good again. Um, okay, so Maokai nerfed just to early game because sustain tree was a bit ridiculous for a tank. <laughs> um, so now he's weaker early game, same late game. So basic balancing here. Uh, Morgana has updated abilities basically. She got a texture rebalance a couple patches ago and now they're doing her sound effects and visual effects and new icons. Uh, check that out if you haven't. It's really cool. Um, all, the, all the skins are changed for the most part. I think every skin got changed. Even her newest one, Victorious um, and Ghost Bride. Um, Q I think has a little better hitbox now. I tried it out on PB. It's, decent, it's decently better. W, all of her abilities look badass. And then her ult's easier to tell when you've broken out of it or when it's about to s stun you and stuff like that. So that's cool. Um, Nidalee nerfed to her base health and her health per level. So she's going to be squishier, which is great because there's no reason. I mean, she can sit so far back and throw spears at you and then jump away. So with her mobility and range, that's completely fair. I don't think it'll. S it might stop her play a little bit in jungle. She'll be squishier. It'll be harder for her to clear, but I think she'll still be fine. Honestly, it'll just be a little rougher early game. Um. So. Blind's so blind miss window change from on attack, declaration on attack launch. So I think this will just make her Q more reliable on the blind. So that'll be nice for Quinn. I think she's still a great top and mid pick. I don't think she'll be a great AD carry pick, but anything could happen. Q, um, so Rek'Sai can use her tunnels more often, especially later in the game. Um, but she does less damage early game, which is fair. I mean, she already did a lot of damage and had a ton of mobility. Now she gets more mobility with a little less damage. I think that's good because mobility usually sometimes trumps damage and it's not a huge, it's only her bonus AD. So she'll still do a ton of damage, or a decent amount of damage. She'll, she'll still be great for the utility, map presence, and jungle power. I mean she's still manaless, mobile, true damage, uh, her rift um, her tremor sense, all that stuff is really good. So she'll still, still be really strong um, and more mobile late game. Shen, lower cooldown on his ult. That'll help him a bunch because, I don't know, he's he's not as good of a tank as other people and he's not as good as a bruiser or fighter as other people, so he's in a weird spot. So the ult cooldown will help because that's his niche. Like That's what he's really good at. So I think that'll help him. Um, just a bug fix on... His cinch is E. Q okay, so the blind the blind fix just like um Quinn's. So they'll have similar or it's just making blind more reliable. Okay, so now Tristana buffs again. Um so her E cooldown is higher, but her Q reduces E's cooldown when basic attacking. So basically She's like the queen of resets for ADKs now. You get resets on her jump, you, you reset her E with her Q, and her Q with her E. It's kind of complicated, but basically you Q and E someone, and you shoot them a bunch, and you get cooldowns. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Good for Tristana. Um, Cinder Hulk nerf. It's only minus 50 health and plus 50 gold. So it's not too crazy, but... Um, So this was just kind of a bug fix with the gold, it wasn't matching up with the other enchantments, so that makes sense. 
And then the health, the tanks were becoming a bit oppressive, so, and like everyone was using Cinder Hope. Um, so this will tone it down a little bit, but I mean, it's still a great item. You get the Sunfire passive, you get the bonus health from it. Um, that'll be great. I mean, Cinder Hulk still will be good. It's not like tank junglers are gonna die off because it's minus 50 health and plus 50 gold. Um, so I think there is an. A, I think this is kind of a bug fix. Seeing this in 3 doom. Linearly with distance. Okay, so they just kind of they kind of fix it so it, what, where the damage works on the active or passive damage. So that's not too too crazy. Um, Gromp Smite buff does a little less damage scaling, so it's not a super thorn mail. On top of thorn mail, would be retarded. Um, it'll hurt t tank junglers a little bit, but it'll make it more balanced instead of doing a shit ton of damage and being super tanky. So that's 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 a good um, balance. Minion spawn animations, so minions have a cool little spawn. Um, Endgame banners are now um, animated again, which was cool, so that'll be sweet. And then there's a loading screen for a little background thing. It's cool. Um, people wanted it to be animated, which it's not as of now, but we'll see. Um, I think they'll do that eventually, just because, yeah, it does help you with being if, know if you're frozen or not. Um, uh, Luden's Echo has a better proc animation um, and it has a different build path in Twisted Tree Line and Crystal Scrap because there's no needlessly large rod there um, and it does a, it's less AP but um, yeah for all you 3v3s and Dominion players now there's Luna Echo that's semi-balanced and makes sense <laughs> um, couple bug fixes team builder lobbies suggested players more team builder, spirit guards, champion interaction voiceover has been fixed, so that's sweet, since everyone was complaining about that. Reto listens to Reddit and other people. Um, Ward hop crash. They even call out someone for helping fix that. And then there's some badass skins coming out this patch. Arc like Vane, I think looks awesome. I don't know why people complain about it. Debonair Gallia looks awesome. This is the and back to the Vane skin, it's the only one with actual like changed particles for the most part. So I think that makes it badass. I don't think it looks as ugly as people like to say, but you know. Guardian Sands Ramus, he's a fucking scarab. Has wings that come out when you queue. It's fucking beautiful. Um, Skarner, another skin for Skarner after like two years. <coughs> or Zach. Um, <laughs> poor Zach. I think they're doing something big for Zach on that topic, but we'll have to see. Um, Guardians of the Sand Zerath, also another really badass skin. I think it's his best skin, honestly. Uh, tied with Scorched Earth, but, um... And then Skarner's, like, a badass skin that's not, um... 1820, not, not a legendary skin for the Battlecast one, although that one's badass, too. Um, so those all fit along with Kha'Zix. I bet they'll do a fifth one, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, yeah, so let's, let's see if Kha'Zix, yeah... I don't know, they like to do full teams, but it's not like a whole team, it's not AD carry support, but that's cool. And then big news, Omega Squad Teemo, check it out if you haven't, go watch over at Skin Spotlights, um, they have a fantastic coverage of it, it's so cool, I played it, I played a whole boss game, just 1v5, just messing around because it was so cool to see the particles and stuff. His Q throws like a little red knife instead of a, like a shot, he's got like a red laser, um, it's, eight, it's a legendary skin, 1820, badass as fuck. It's gonna have a loading screen. His Qs are like mines that like are, or his ult, his shrooms are like mines that, and then do like a green nuclear explosion. It's it's badass. The voiceover is fantastic. That'll be fun. But watch out for all the teamos this patch. Um, and that'll do it for me. Um, I hope you guys wa uh, enjoyed watching. Um, let me know how I did. Uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, uh, follow me on Twitter, whatever. You can see when I go live, you see when I post new videos, um, all that stuff. Just I love feedback. Let me know how I did, and thank you guys. Have a great day.